So if you've just landed on this channel, I'm currently at BMC head offices in Switzerland and today I'm very lucky I get to ride with a pro cyclist. He's been a pro cyclist for 17 years. He's currently working out his average wattages for one minute, five minute, 10 minute and 20 minutes so he can share it with us and we're just gonna go for a cruise. And then I've asked him as a lead out man, and he's gonna share with us shortly who he leads out. Can he try and lead me out, but more importantly, can I hold his wheel as opposed to coming around him? Tell us, who do you lead out? Nowadays I lead out Greg von Avermaet and Ben O'Connor, okay. Australian. My two leaders. In the old days I was leading out Kedel Evans. You're right. Which was a lot of fun when we went to the tour together in 2011 and he got the, the yellow jersey. So tell us, what's your best power or your power for one minute? So my one minute is and then I got on five minutes <laughs> then 10 minutes is and uh, 20 minutes is Now apologies, I had to beep that out. Mickey found out after recording team protocols don't allow them to share their data, which is understandable, but we tried. So if you appreciate the fact that we tried, don't forget to give the video a like and hopefully my reaction will demonstrate to you how many watts we're talking about here. Holy shit. <laughs> there we go, going on a short ride. And yeah, I think we have a goal to drop you from the wheel. Yeah. Which is mostly not my goal. My leader should be supposed to stay on my wheel as long as possible. Right. So to do we, today we changed the roles a little. Yes. And how, how are you going to do that? We're going to go uphill. You don't think you can drop me on the flats? I find that surprising. No, I'm convinced I can't not drop you on the flat. Is that because... you're too tall? Too yeah. much of a windbreak. How tall are you? I'm one meter 98 tall, six foot five. Wow. And that's so much draft behind. I think you, you're uh, get, gaining 30% or you, you're spending less 30% on your watch. So I think on the flat, it's impossible to drop you. Maybe a little drag, three, four, five percent. We'll find one, yeah. Or a proper climb, yeah. That. So six, five, how much do you weigh? 77 kilos. 77 kilos. Wow. <laughs> Let's go. Just when you don't want to be a Hubbard with a pro, your cleat comes loose. <laughs> you wouldn't read about it. All three screws loose. Yeah. <laughs> I do every year 37,000 kilometers, never seen this. <laughs> so out of all the Aussies you could love, which one did you just bring up? Yeah, you know the guy with the, the tall as me, skinny guy. Yeah. He's uh, always Colourful different. Kids. Yeah, different kids. Yeah. I love him. And what does he do? Follow him. When he attacks, he makes boom, boom, boom. <laughs> What the hell right today? Stay few for new shoes! Have a look at these babies! Back! 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 Today when I got an attack, I'm like, boom, boom, boom! <laughs> <laughs> So as we get going here, I wanted to thank Mickey for his time. And if you missed our chat together where Mickey shares how training has changed over the past 17 years and why the elite pros are getting stronger, younger, there will be a thumbnail at the end of this video you can click on to watch that piece. So on the screen from left to right, you can see the time clock. So we can see how long I'm going to last on Mickey's wheel. The course for this lead out where there's a sharp hairpin which i genuinely did not know was coming up until the last minute and it's now a corner that will haunt me for years to come we have cadence speed in kilometers per hour and you'll see we hover around 50 kilometers per hour which is circa 31 miles per hour we have power heart rate where my max is around 183 i thought and you'll see us go over that before I get dropped. And strangely, I hit 180 out of the blocks, which I feel could be a data artifact. And finally, we have Gradient. And for all those data geeks out there that want to know my numbers, I am 179 centimeters in height, currently 79 kilograms, and an FTP of around 350 watts, give or take 10 watts either side, depending on form. So Mickey was right. He's a monster windshield and I'm sitting on his wheel without feeling like I'm going to get popped. Sitting in the draft, I can appreciate why he's had 17 years in the game as a rider for the GC guys. However, the rough 30% more power he's producing than me right now, it's gonna hurt a lot when we hit this corner and go up the hill. 
So this corner we're about to turn into turns into my second big cock up for the ride after the shoe incident. So I feel better about myself. Let me give you a little bit of context as to why this happened the way it did. Oh, no one cares for your bloody excuses, dickhead. Number one, I didn't know there was a corner involved in this lead out dropping. In fact, not only is it a corner, it's actually a hairpin. Number two, there is a car coming down the road we're about to turn into. You can't see it on camera yet, but I knew it was coming. Number three, I'm on unfamiliar roads, riding on the wrong side of the road, for me anyway. And number four, I'm suffering from a fair bit of jet lag and I'm also slightly hung over. So all those things combined, my split second decision was Mickey was gonna take it nice and easy into the corner, enabling me to reestablish myself on the wheel as we came out of that hairpin, but he didn't. He ripped it into the corner and ripped it out. So by silly split second decision, now leaves me looking like a fair old peanut, dropping the wheel with a lot of catching up to do. And it was a fair old 900 watt effort to get back on the wheel and an effort that has left me close to max heart rate while having to pump out what is essentially an anaerobic effort to maintain wheel contact. And I feel Mickey, he could sense my heavy breathing. He let me suffer for a while and then decided to step it up a notch back up over 600 watts and I'm now heading for a new on-road max heart rate. The last time my max heart rate was this high, I was doing some stupid YouTube challenge on an indoor trainer and overheated and overreached. But this, my friends, is outside in the cool Swiss air. So as my heart rate exceeds max, hopefully we could all appreciate why I got dropped and why I sound like I'm being penetrated. <sighs> So now let's have a look at my today's plan data, a software we use at the Road Cycling Academy to analyze athletes' data. And here you can see my sustained effort after the initial spike on the flat, where I truly got to use Mickey as a shield was circa 400 watts. And after that initial spike up the hill, we're talking closer to 550 watts to hold Mickey's wheel. So all up for this dropping, I lasted Roughly two minutes 40, of which one minute was uphill. So, what did Mickey have to say about all this? What was your strategy there in the corner? It was lovely. It's actually <laughs> what I'm doing since uh, all my career. What's that? Riding hard into a climb, and then try to go as fast as, po as possible around the corner to make the guys behind uh, suffer. Yes. Because it's all about the position. Yes. And then kick right from the bottom of the climb, and that's what I did with you today. <laughs> <laughs> Put my experience on the game because I'm a little bit in off-season mood. Yes. So I didn't want to go too long on the climb. Yes. So I tried to make a kick hard. Yeah. Right from the corner. What's it called? Bang bang. Oh, the bang bang. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. Nice. Thanks for the ride, mate. <laughs>